call when you may get the call to help someone in need. The question is, would you be ready and willing to answer? Our Andrea Isom introduces us to a woman who would say 1,000 times yes. You know, Carolyn, stories like these really make you ask yourself, how strong are you? And what would you do if someone really needed you to come to their rescue? Since they were kids, their love has been unconditional, their bond unbreakable, their spirits and souls connected in a way that simply cannot be put into words. It's amazing to have a twin sister, like inseparable. She knows some things that um, I might be thinking or I might have done. She heard I heard. And sadly, that could not be more true today. Marlene literally needs Darlene to survive. I feel so bad and I get a little depressed about it because she, she's unable to get out right now because of the fact that she had a massive stroke and she's paralyzed. Darlene has been her twin sister Marlene's full-time caregiver since November of 2013. She worked 28 years as a CNA, as a certified nursing assistant, and the same services that she provided is the same services that she's in need of right now. Well, I didn't hesitate at all. I jumped right into action. I did educate myself. And unselfishly set all of her needs aside. It starts like at seven o'clock in the morning, gets up, get her bathed, get her hair done, um, get her meds, get her shots, um, start preparing her meals. But Darlene's daily wish is that she could do even more when it comes to enjoying, exploring, and traveling. The front porch is as far as Marlene can go. In her mind, you know, she takes herself all over the world. If I had a um, handicap accessible van, that would be a great help for me. Right now, they are solely dependent upon superior EMS to take her to doctor appointments and the like. Though they truly appreciate their kindness, dependability, and services, Darlene and Marlene want to journey around this world together as long as they have left together on this earth. A handicap accessible van would help lead the way. I love my sister more than life itself, I do, and I will do anything to take care of my sister, to see her happy. And I truly believe that I know that you all can feel it too. I'll tell you what, Darlene says this is not it for her sister. She has faith and she has hope that she will get better and that she will walk again. And I'll tell you, being with them, the love is in the air, you can feel it. It is incredible. If it is on your heart, to help them. You can do that. You can go to our website, WXYZ.com. You can send me an email. They have a GoFundMe page set up. I know, I know that they will be grateful and so overjoyed. Reporting live, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Andrea. We're going to turn to